Hello, my day family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Day Day and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. Like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Hola, my day familia. How are you? Um, so I am so happy to be doing another video for you. You know, y'all, like I, I try to mind my own business, right? So I'm over here. I, I'm trying to mind my own business. I have, um, I have employees that I have to make sure get paid. I have a, a, actually two businesses I have to make sure continue running and um, continue being productive, making money so everyone's happy. And then, you know, I, I have to try to take care of myself as well. So the last thing I'm expecting to hear about is, dum dum dum, drum roll, Will Smith. <laughs> so this is what has got me on this video today. Will Smith and the shenanigans that I've been hearing um, on Will Smith, okay? You guys have probably heard the infamous, see the first thing that pops up when I typed, all I did was type in Will Smith's name and the whole scandal about what happened on the Oscars pops right up. So Will Smith, for those of you that are just now catching up, just a, br a brief kind of like run through, they're at the Oscars, Will Smith is there, everyone's having a good time. And Will Smith decides that it's a good idea uh, to walk up, walk, walk up on stage and smack the crap out of Chris Rock for telling a joke. Very, very silly, right? So in this, in this video, I, I just felt compelled to make this video because you guys know that this channel, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it real, isn't necessarily on any particular schedule when it comes to posting. But when insane things happen, you will most likely always see me right on, right on schedule with, with, um, with another video because I just have to get it out. Like I just have to. So this that just happened with Will Smith, like in this video, I just, we're going to talk a little bit more about it and we're going to look at it more from a psychological perspective as well and what what that means what it what it's telling us like Will Smith's behavior what that's telling us Jada's behavior what that tells us so we're just going to talk a little bit more about the meaning behind the actions essentially and go from there I just so this is something that was shocking let me start with that I was absolutely shocked to hear about this. Not only that, I don't really get on social media that much. Like I might have three or four month spans of time where I'm on social media more often than I usually would. And then I just like lose interest for like the rest of the year or whatever the case may be. I do have a guilty pleasure and that's YouTube. So anytime that I am on social media and on any particular week, it's usually YouTube that sucks up all of my time because I'm sitting there watching videos and like, I just, that's how I catch up on the tea most of the time. But I do have the CNN app installed on my phone that gives me notifications. So I'm not like living under a rock when it comes to these things. So I actually found out about this Will Smith issue like a day, like 24 hours after it happened. So not even immediately. And I was shocked. I was I couldn't believe it. I was like, Will Smith did what, right? Will Smith um, put his hands on somebody? Like, what's the, wh what's the reason for that? And I, I will say this, right? I will say this. The thing about Will Smith putting his hands on somebody that shocked me the most is that he did it so publicly, like he literally walked on, on stage and slapped someone else and like put his hands on someone else and thought, I, I, I was like, where's that coming from? It's just so not what I would expect from a personality like Will Smith. Now I say this in my videos and I always tell people be careful because 
you just don't know these individuals in their private lives and what they're really like. But the public image side, even from a public image perspective, I'm really shocked because the thing is, I'm not quite understanding like what could be such a good reason for you to go up on stage? What reason could you possibly have for you to actually go up on, sta on stage and, and put your hands in somebody else? That's what I'm, I mean, I'm really, I was really struggling with the concept because I was like, I, I don't get, I don't get it. I was like, what happened? I don't get it. So apparently, and, and the thing is, as we dive into the story a little bit more, because I've looked into the story, as we dive in, we find out that, you know, Chris Rock had made a joke. And I, I'm like, as soon as I heard that that was the reason, I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, how do you smack someone because of the joke? And not only that, Chris Rock made a joke and compared Jada to a character that's actually a, um, a character that's, that's fairly well loved and liked. She's gorgeous, she's beautiful, but it was just a matter of like, they're both, they were both bald and that's, that was the joke. Right. And I'm like, this is why you went and put your hands on somebody. I'm not, I'm not, it's not registering. Right. So I could not for the life of me understand why a well would do this. And I still don't. So like I've researched this over the course of the past few days, it's been intensifying. It's been getting worse. Right. Because now things are resurfacing, resurfacing when it comes to Jada's infidelity the red table talk that Jada had uh, with Will when they were talking about the infidelity, which you guys was so cringe, like so cringe. Let me see what we can find here. So cringe, like this interview, you guys, <laughs> this is the one that I watched. And I was like, what in the, in the literal world is going on here? So Will had no reason to smack the crap out of Chris the way he did. From a mental health perspective, one of the things that I found out is that Chris Rock actually has a history of being bullied, right? So he was bully, bullied all throughout his childhood, right? To the extent where he then decided when he was younger, he decided he wanted to defend himself. So he put like rocks in a bag or something like that. And he, next time he was bullied, he used his bag that had a bunch of like rocks in it to smack the crap out of the person that was bullying him. And it was so bad that the person that he hit almost died. And so from there, Chris Rock actually describes it. So he, he's been going to therapy and he's gone to therapy uh, processing through this childhood event that happened. And he actually described it as um, his therapist saying, you know, since then you've essentially been afraid of being angry ever since. That's how, that's how Chris Rock's therapist described it, right? And of course, Chris Rock was like, oh, wow. So, you, you know, that tells me and that tells us that from a psychological and mental health perspective, this was a traumatic event for Chris, right? So not only the bullying is, is trauma, right? Because it was like long-term bullying at such a young age and it was pretty intense. Um, and you can kind of see in his show, Everybody Hates Chris, it's, it's based off of like, his real experiences. So you can kind of see the level of bullying he had to go through. But then you also have, you know, the event that happened where he decides he wants to stand up for himself at such a young age and someone almost dies, right? And he effectively almost kills someone um, because of that decision. And so this is trauma. If, if the, 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 one of the bare definitions of trauma. It's like such, such huge trauma for somebody. And so what pops up for me is that Will wants people to respect the emotions of like his wife and his emotions, yet he has the gall, right? He has the gall to, sorry guys, I got to like plug in my computer because y'all know 
that when we get in these videos, okay. So he wants people to respect his um, emotions and his point of view, yet he has the audacity to get up on stage and slap someone who, ha who, who has a, tr a, a history of being bullied himself. So in essence, I feel like what probably happened as a result, one of the things that happened as a result of Will getting on stage and slapping Chris is Will probably re-traumatized Chris Rock, right? I feel like not even necessarily re-traumatized, but re-triggered. I think that's the, a better word because when someone's trauma is based off of bullying and based off of being hit on a regular basis as a child, having to go through uh, family violence experiences or school violence experiences, and they've been going to counseling to address that, and then you come and you smack the crap out of them as an adult, then you're re-triggering that individual's trauma. But yet your reason is that, oh, it's because I essentially want my emotions to be respected as well as my wife's emotions to be respected. It makes no sense. And so I'm like, you know, there's rarely ever a reason to put your hands on someone, except for if it's self-defense and that person smacked the crap out of you first or something. I don't, I, I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm speechless. Speechless, because now you re-triggered someone's trauma Hopefully he's able to process through that efficiently where it doesn't cause too much damage. But you've re-triggered someone's trauma for such a silly re reason. He's a comedian, mind you. And these jokes are vetted before he ever gets on stage to say them, right? So it's not like he's the only one that saw the joke and just decided to like say it or whatever. And even if he were, it's like, who do you think you are? I'm just, I'm baffled. It, the reason is so silly to me that it, it, it's, it's ironic, right? It's like, how can I take you seriously and your emotions seriously when you don't even take other people's feelings or emotions seriously? That's how I feel about that. That's what I think from a psychological perspective and a mental health perspective, you know, Will Smith needs a, a lot of help and he needs to get out of this marriage with Jada because I think this marriage with Jada is killing him, literally killing him. And um, he keeps trying to, so Jada's ex is Tupac, and Tupac died like in 1994, 1995, somewhere around there, correct me, as far as what the date is in the comments below. Um, but if essentially, she, you know, this, uh, uh, sorry, Tupac died. I don't know if that's what I said the first time, um, around like years ago. And this person, Jada, has not let live. Uh, he, he, Jada has not let Will live that down till this day, right? It's like if you have someone that's not able to get over their dead ex, that's not a person that you need to be with. Period, right? So to a certain extent, it's also Will's responsibility because he's choosing to stay in this. Um, relationship, but I have seen a lot of things that lead me to believe that that you know there's a good chance chance that Jada is a narcissist. She does fall into the category of the, of having a narcissistic personality disorder, um, and not just narcissistic tendencies. Because I, I try to be very very careful with that. I try to warn people that you don't just call everyone a narcissist, right? Because there's a difference. Everyone has narcissistic tendencies, and some have it worse than others. But it's also a mental health disorder within the mental health field. So you want to make it clear when that that person hasn't been diagnosed to the best of your knowledge, officially diagnosed that you know, that person has narcissistic tendencies versus that person is a narcissist or that person has a narcissistic personality disorder. Now, in this case, I'm not diagnosing her. She's not a client of mine and I have not um, seen her personally. But from what I'm seeing, I think that the likelihood of her having a narcissistic personality disorder is high, from my opinion, from, from what I'm seeing. Um, 
And I just think that like, you know, Will is going to have to save himself from this one. It's going to be hard because when you're dealing with narcissists or people with such high narcissistic tendencies, it, it rocks your world, com- turns it completely outside down to where you feel like you're the one that's, that's crazy. You're the one that's losing your mind, right? So as a consequence of this, apparently the Oscars have now uh, banned Will Smith from going to the Oscars for 10 years. Will Smith also resigned. I guess he had like a, a core president role within the Oscars where he was able to vote and things like that. And he had to resign that role. Um, and then he effectively ruined the experience for everyone else. I think the Oscars banning Will Smith for 10 years is so s- stupid because it came so late. You know what I mean? Like they let the show go on as if nothing happened. That poor guy, Chris Rock, is like standing on stage, like confused as hell because he's like, not that it's like what just happened. No one said anything. And these people, the Oscars, they portray themselves as like the elite, right? Like, oh, we're winning awards because we're so good at XYZ, but yet they're exhibiting animalistic behavior. Yeah, that's I always call things that are so ridiculous. I'm like, this is animalistic behavior, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, I don't even know what else to call that, right? But yet you're supposed to be like the elite, you're supposed to be the talented, you're supposed to be, you know, promoting all these positive things. And you said nothing. You didn't walk Will Smith out of there. You didn't, you did nothing for several days after the fact. And then all you ended up doing was banning him for 10 years. I feel like that behavior warrants just banning forever. It's like if you don't get banned forever for smacking the crap out of someone. It, on stage in the middle of the show for no good reason, at, mind you, right? Then what do you get banned forever? Like, what do you have to do to get banned forever? Like, I don't really understand. It's so silly. But at least they, I mean, at least it's, it's something. It's better than nothing. But it's just like another, it's another, um, it's another, it's more proof, right? That like, you just can't look up to these people right? Like these awards, these ceremonies, they don't really mean much in my opinion. And I, you know, you you never even know what really goes into it. Like the politics that, the politics that they play behind the the scenes, it's, it's almost just all for publicity. It doesn't really mean anything. These people don't really live this way. These people don't really, can't really live up to these standards that they're trying to portray. So you have to be as an individual, very, very careful uh, when you you think about these people and when, when you see these people. That's, that's again, I say this in all my videos, these people are just regular. They're not particularly, like they're just, this, the, the whole Oscars to me just seems stupid now. Like I'm like, why, why do we even have this? You know what I mean? Like if, if someone does a good job at something, then just, you know, mail them, mail them a, 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 a trophy or plaque or whatever recognition wise and you know make a blog post you know why are we having a whole ceremony about it like what's what 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 are they really doing you know like so I don't know but anyways I went on a little bit of a rant there but that's how I feel about it and I'm shocked it's such it's so sad because I actually really liked I still like Will Smith but I will say that this has really done a number on just how I view him his mental health uh, stability is clearly on the de- decline. His emotional health is clearly on the decline. And all they do is continue to, to make excuses. Oh, it, it hurt Jada's feelings. So, you, you, you know, someone's feelings get hurt. And, and the first thing you do is go put your hands on somebody. That's what we're doing. You know, I, 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 I you know, I'm not, I'm not subscribed to that. I'm not subscribed to that. This is insane. And it's unfortunate that they're men of color, right? It's, they're, they're all black. So then there's that, that whole nother conversation of, of, uh, that, that we could have surrounding that and, and the image um, from a socioeconomic standpoint, as well as just a, a, a racial standpoint, right? Very, very real topics of conversations. 
Um, then he starts crying as if he's the victim. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm like, what? You're the one that just slapped someone. Why are you crying? <laughs> I don't care. Don't understand. Anyways, let's watch this, a little bit of this, because this was also insane. Yeah. You know, there's people's feelings involved. Right. right. You know, mm-hmm. it's healing that needs to happen. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So what happened, Jada? Okay. So the, I think it was about four and a half, four years ago, um, started a friendship with August. Mm-hmm. And we- you guys, August was her son's friend, and her son is like early 20s. August was early, tw- like 21 or something insane like that. So she's saying it so casually, no remorse, right? And her tone, no acknowledgement of the fact that this is like predatory behavior. This was predatory behavior in her tone. Um, the way she starts it off, started a friendship with August, trying to make it seem so casual and like it was totally normal very very weird already we actually became really really good friends and it all started with him just needing some help you know me wanting to help his health his mental state and we found all those different resources yeah it's like don't forget about the physical oh my god i can't even y'all i be minding my own business i promise and then i have to drop a video on here because i'm like what is happening what is happening quite literally what is happening and she's like it started with me just wanting to help i'm sorry who died and made you a therapist like well, yeah, if you want to help a young man then you claim in all these other videos that you have such good therapists that have helped your marriage this and that surely you can get some recommendations and pass him the number as well as the name to some good therapists like, I, 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 did you go to school for that, that, that we're not aware of? Did you go to school for psychology that we're not aware of? Like, what is this woman saying? What is she saying? Like, what is she trying to justify? It, Jada, I do not like her at all. And that comes from, the, and, and that's even coming from me, who I'm used to different personalities and things like that. I just... Not even that I don't like her because I don't really know her personally, but she gives me very negative vibes. That's a more accurate description of how I'm feeling because I can't not like her or like her because I don't know her personally. I guess I could, but it, but what I will say is the feeling that I get skews more towards the feeling of not liking her because... I just get such negative vibes from her. Like, oh my God, like this person is the embodiment um, embodiment of toxicity. And this is the example I want you, you guys to take as far as like who not to deal with, who not to have in your environment, right? You know, to help pull them through. And from there, you know, you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. That particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. Yeah, know? no, and we were over. And then what did you do, Jada? Oh my God. And for her to be like, no, yeah, we were over. And I'm like, she's so insensitive. It's like, it's appalling to watch this, right? He said, I really felt like we could be over. And she's like, no, we were over. And I'm like, you know, Will is going to have to do some some saving of himself here because no one else, I mean, the public is already speaking and has been speaking and saying, hey, well, this might not be something that you, you want to be in. It's very hard when you're in it, though, with someone with such high narcissistic tendencies um, to see that, that it, hey, if, if the mass is saying this, then there, there might be something that you might want to stop and reconsider, right? Um but very sad, very, very sad to kind of already see how she's treating him. You know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Thank God, you need to say. <laughs> this entanglement piece was so popular. It's still so popular. I mean, books, memes, I cannot even believe. So she uses the word entanglement that what that tells me 
from a mental health and psychological perspective is that she's trying to detach herself from the behavior, right? So entanglement, heck, you cheated. It was an affair. Just say, say what it is, right? So she's trying to detach herself from the behavior. And so what that further means or tells me is that she's not acknowledging that she did anything wrong, right? She's like, well, what I did wasn't really anything wrong, right? It was like an entanglement, right? It wasn't me. I didn't do it, you know? So this person needs a lot of, a lot of help because it's like, I'm not, there's only so much like gaslighting, you know what I mean? So it, already we can see this is not someone that has taken responsibility for her actions. This is not someone that is willing to take responsibility responsibility for her actions. And this is someone that is still completely trying to detach from the fact that what she did was wrong and from the fact that she did it, right? And clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with... Entanglement, oh my gosh. Oh, yes, that's what I said. That's what I said. Entanglement. Yes. <laughs> yes. A relationship. Yes. It was a relationship. Absolutely. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy. I was in a lot of pain and I was very broken. Now, in the process <laughs> of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, so I, they, they're, they're meant to be separated in order to find, um, for, in order for her to find what, what makes her happy. And she's essentially trying to justify the fact that she had this relationship by saying, that's the way, that's the only way I was able to find the answer that I was looking for essentially, which is you can't find happiness outside of yourself, right? Well, you know, I kind of call BS on that, you know, because the thing is at the end of the day, um, if you're that unhappy, right? And you're, the, the agreement was that you separate in order to find that uh, what makes you happy, right? That does not, that's not an agreement that says, oh, it's okay to go, you know, sleep with your 21 year old son's best friend. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a separate type of agreement, right? So those two don't actually correlate, right? But it's, it's very interesting to see how smoothly someone with such high narcissistic tendencies can operate. You see how smoothly that seems to fit in, but when we start to deconstruct it, we start noticing, well, you know, how does this piece fit in, actually fit in with this piece? Because at the end of the day, you still cheated. So let me put it in this way. At the end of the day, you still cheated. You still slept with like a 21 year old, 23, I don't even know. Correct, correct. What, put the age down in the comments. But it, he was, he was, he was younger than like twenty four, and someone that was your your son's best friend and classmate, mind you, from what I've heard, allegedly, and classmate, right? You that is an action that you still took. You still did that, which was wrong of you to do because the agreement was not for you to go around sleeping around, right? The agreement was for you to go around and find yourself, not by sleeping around though, from, the, from what I'm understanding here. That's the purpose of taking you know, the break. That was the purpose of taking the break, right? So why are you trying to use one thing to justify the other, right? If you are saying effectively, this is how I went about finding myself or finding out that, hey, I can't be happy. I can't find happiness um, if it's not within myself. If you're saying that that's how you went about finding out, okay, I, I, let me, I'll give that to you. Let's give that to you. Does that mean that what you did was right? Does that make it right? So, so you're saying that it was okay. 
what you did was okay because that's how you went. No, it, it, it makes no sense, right? What you did was still wrong. So you still have to take accountability for that. You still have to say like, hey, I know what I did was wrong. I know that what I did, what I did was not the agreement. It was not what I was supposed to do. It was the wrong thing to do. And it was predatory behavior, right? The, the, the one thing that the one thing that I learned and took from it was that, well, I, I can't find happiness outside of myself. So I, I did take that. And, and that's one thing that I learned from it, but the behavior itself was still wrong and it was still predatory behavior. So those two things are separate. They're not one, right? It's not like, it, it's more like correlation. It's not causation. But people with such high narcissistic tendencies are so good at weaving this together in a way to try to make it sound like, oh, oh, okay, okay. So that was the path. That was your path. So that's okay that that was your path. No, it's not okay. It's not okay because it wasn't just your path. You have a whole husband. You have a whole family and people that you're hurting, right? So when you start hurting all these people along the way, then it stops quick, it quickly stops becoming just your path and it quickly stops becoming okay. And it quickly stops becoming something that you can continue to avoid taking responsibility for, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Leave any questions below and I can explain further if needed. You and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. I would- During that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August, what do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Oh, ouch. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Ouch. Husband, I'm, now I got to be with you. At the Cringe, y'all. Cringe. I mean, I, I don't know what's happening here. I mean, if I were Will, I'd be like, well, we just don't need to be together, right? Because Will it seems to me as trying to take responsibility for this woman's happiness, which is something that he cannot do. It is not possible, right? And if she's not happy, then she needs to go find it separate from Will. <laughs> like Will needs to separate himself from that situation. Um, but he's not doing that, right? And, and that's going to be, that to me is something that he needs to, to really, really take more time contemplating as to why he's not taking those steps right but it's for her to sit there and say this on national tv as if it justifies the behavior and then laugh she's laughing right i just it cringe and you can tell in will's face he's so hurt I, I feel so bad for him um so will actually fell in love with jada while he was still married to his first wife so in a lot of ways i kind of feel like well you know a little bit of karma there and even then i still feel bad for the poor guy like when it comes to this woman i honestly think a lot of his issues and his emotional instability and mental instability is because of this woman. Like it is literally, he's killing himself. He's quite literally killing himself by remaining with this person in this in this very skewed, toxic environment, toxic relationship. That is my opinion. That's my very, very honest opinion. And it's like, why are you laughing? This is funny to you. This is a joke. Is this a joke to you? Like I don't, I don't understand. She's not even taking his feelings seriously from what it looks like to me, right? It had been so long since I had been happy. She didn't even follow up with, and that's on me. You know, that, that it's not because of you. She made it sound like, she's trying to make it sound like it's his fault without explicitly saying it. Because when you're dealing with someone with such extreme narcissistic tendencies, that's what they do, right? So you start thinking those things. You don't even know where those thoughts are coming from. It's because of the way they, they go about wording and saying and delivering the message in such a slick way where the message is delivered subconsciously and your mind starts to repeat that message over and over again, even though it's not the truth. And, and before you know it, your truth is, is, is skewed, right? And you're in, in the most toxic environment that you could possibly find yourself in. Very, very gross. Press conference while you like tell the world 
uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. No, I Simp definitely, energy. I definitely understand um, why energy. I look that way or feel that way, but I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. This was the biggest piece. You don't look at it as a transgression. What are you even saying? She didn't apologize. She said, I understand how it could look that way. She didn't apologize for how this might have made Will feel. She didn't acknowledge it. Right. She just keeps talking about herself and 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 justifying this behavior that was out of this world inappropriate. Even if we took Will out of the picture, this is your son's f- younger friend. Like, so you have narcissists. People with such high narcissistic tendencies tend to leave so much damage behind them every single day, right? They leave so much trauma and damage with other people. And that's one of the biggest issues with just having someone like this in your life is every single day they're raising havoc around them, right? And so it's like, you don't see it as a transgression. Who, get, who, who cares? First of all, who cares how you see it, right? Clearly, the people around you that are supposed to be loved by you have been hurt by your action, right? So the least you could do is acknowledge that this was hurtful and this was not the right move. It's not the right move because clearly you weren't thinking about the people that you supposedly love or care about, your family, right? You just did what you wanted to do. Oh, but it wasn't a transgression, you know? So further proof, there's no remorse. I don't know why they're still together. I don't really understand it because she didn't take accountability. There's no remorse. She could give two crafts, like literally. She does not care. Will's about to cry in this whole video. And one of Will's coping skills is to try to laugh it off or make a joke. Even whenever he made that joke, as far as like your transgressions, you know, he's trying to cope through this interview. And this is an actor can't even play it off you see how bad this must be and they could be making him it's, it's killing him literally killing him you can't even play it off and this is one of the world's greatest actors right and he can't even take it can't take it look at his face so it's very very sad I, I i honestly hope to see that he's able to be strong enough to get out of this situation because it just it seems like a very toxic toxic relationship and environment to be in also from watching well for so long i do know that he has a thing for not wanting to fail and because this is his second marriage i feel like that's probably having a lot to do with why he continues to stay along with you know the finances and you know what that divorce might look like i honestly just wish jada would give him the divorce (laughs) so that way like you know he could keep probably keep most of his things but what a mess. What a mess. Through that particular journey, I learned so much about myself and was able to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, emotional insecurity. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Really deep. <laughs> Through smashing the smashing a 21-year-old or whatever. Like that okay you learned a lot about yourself what does that have to do with the fact that what you did was wrong that doesn't make it right the 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 times where we learn the most are from mistakes right we learn we as human beings learn the most from when we make mistakes when we do things wrong and we're like oh that wasn't the way to go so at the end of the day what you did was still wrong right but yet I don't hear you acknowledging that. What I'm hearing is you trying to defend what you did as though it were right because this is what you weren't. Not the case. This is narcissistic behavior, narcissistic thinking. This is how they work, right? They trick, they try to trick you. They, they, they F mind you, right? They mind F you, I think is the order, right? Not the case. The fact that that's what you learned does not correlate to what you did being right, right? And even if you still feel like, well, what you did was right, then obviously it was only right for you. (laughs) And that's not what we're concerned about. What we're concerned about is the fact that you have other people that you have in your family that this affected profoundly. And so 
surely you realize that that was a very selfish approach. Hence, what you did was wrong, right? So in every aspect, she tries to make it seem like because this is what she learned, it was the right thing to do. When in the, the truth is, human beings learn the most from mistakes that they make, right? And that's exactly what happened here is you, you did something wrong and you're saying that that's how you were able to learn so much about you, but yet you're not acknowledging that what you did was wrong. I, di I don't understand. And she literally says, I don't see it as a transgression. What in the quite literal world, right? This is why so many people in the world don't like Jada because she's psycho. In my opinion, I lose, I, like, in my opinion, I'm going to say, so I use the word psycho. That's, to me, that's equivalent. Yeah, I mean, I just, it's just not normal. I just, it's, a, it's a, in my opinion, she needs a lot of help. That's, that's, that's what psycho means to me. She's psycho. She needs a lot of help. And, and Will cannot give her that. It's not his responsibility. He needs to exit the situation. But if he continues to choose to be in the situation, then it's, it's on him, you know? You, there's nothing we can do about it but post videos and comments on YouTube, you know? <laughs> Help heal somebody. Yeah. Because I wasn't sure I was ever going to speak to you again. I know, I know. Yeah, like, the fact that I'm speaking to you again is a, <laughs> is a miracle. Like, why is she, why are you laughing? That's not funny. Where's the joke? Like, I, I, she's so, ugh, this is cringe. I don't want to go through this no more. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. either. Yeah. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you've got me back. <laughs> I think you... <laughs> I think we're good on that. Yeah, you can tell that that's such a... Oh, my God. It's such a fake laugh from Will. And, like, he's serious. He's like, I'm going to get you back. I'm like, what kind of relationship is this? What's happening? <laughs> we're getting each other back. Like, just leave, for God's sake. Like, what in the world is going on? leave why are you forcing it you shouldn't have to force it especially not to this extent you get her back by leaving <laughs> like if you can't divorce then just officially separate for good and move on and let the world know this is what we're doing because you know financially it doesn't make sense but i'm doing my own thing dating other people she's doing her own thing dating other people we're done right i don't know but it's like get you back that's not a, re a real relationship why do you want to spend your time on this earth like this suffering like this for no reason i don't get it okay. Okay. i wish you know i wish that wasn't the case <laughs> i do i that's wish that answer. wasn't the hey, case i sure wish it could be all matched in here yeah hey, that might, that's probably true. That's you know true. but um and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me, it is. Okay. Um, I'll give you that petty. <laughs> that's what you... Look, they're, they started fighting already because this is a fight. And then, and so they're laughing. The laughing is a coping skill. But what's actually happening here is they're engaging in an argument right in front of us, right? And it is so cringe. And yeah, he's serious. It is for him. And it, it doesn't make sense to me. So that tells me Will needs needs a lot of more therapy and then from what he's than what he's getting because honestly it's like that's not what a relationship is meant for and if you're feeling that way then it's time to leave the relationship right um i don't know what getting you back means like what are you gonna do you're gonna cheat as well like so his pride has been hurt is essentially what he's saying to her but she's not catching that right She's saying, oh, how petty. But what he's actually trying to say to her is that you've hurt my pride, right, with your actions. What you're doing has not only hurt my pride, it's hurt me emotionally, deeply hurt me emotionally. And, you know, I kind of feel betrayed. I kind of feel like this is something that, like, I want you to feel what this feels like is what, what when, when someone says, oh, I'm going to get you back the way he's saying it, that's the true meaning behind those words. But she's not catching that. So instead of her to sit back and reflect on why would he say that? Where's that coming from? She dismisses it as petty. Oh, that petty. You're so petty, right? And so 
she goes on to further diminish his feelings and his emotions. It's very sad. I mean, the whole thing's so sad. But anyways, from a psychological perspective, I hope this was entertaining for you guys. That's how I feel about this. I think Jaden needs to go. I she just irritates me. I mean, her public image is crap to me. And I don't know the lady personally, but from just the things that I've been seeing publicly, I'm like, this is not an individual I could, I would even be interested in knowing personally. Right. So, um, and I can tell that they both have such a petty way of going about things and, and they're playing this game that I don't really understand why they're playing it, but it's like this this very unhealthy, toxic game. And they're both going to be old, looking back at life, thinking, oh, crap. You know, that was a lot of time wasted that I'm not going to get back. But I ultimately don't think Will should have put his hands on anyone. I think that was very misguided. I think that he needs to go back and do a lot of reflecting. And I think it needs to start with this relationship that he does not need to be in. Now, granted, Jada said something like she has alopecia, which is like a thing where you lose your hair. That's fine. It's still not a good enough reason to put your hands on somebody. So those two, again, do not correlate. They keep trying to gaslight the public like we're stupid, right? Like, oh, like you should have considered her emotions. Um, yeah, just because your, your emotions are hurt, that doesn't correlate to you physically harming someone, right? I mean, it doesn't work that way, especially that's even in the court of law, it doesn't work that way. So not a good enough excuse. And quite frankly, it makes me feel less bad for her <laughs> as far as the hair loss goes. So um, I just, I think the whole situation is very sad. I see the whole situation continuing to escalate. So I will be back with more videos as things continue. But if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for sticking around. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It helps so, so much. Um, and of course, I continue to work on trying to post more and more content for you guys. So, you know, leave a comment, let me know. Um, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.